Hi there, Jamie Keat here today at Teachers Tech. Hope you're having a great day today. Today I want to go over three video effects in Filmora 9. Green screen, split screen, and masking. These are all great effects that can just make your videos look a lot better and they're very simple to use. They're a little bit different than the old version of Filmora, Filmora 8. Uh, I believe there's some more updates coming out with Fil Filmora 9, but there's some ways that you can create these effects and I want to show them to you right now. If you want to follow along and practice with Filmora, just go ahead and download it. I'll put the I'll put a link down in the description down below. You can try the free copy, which is watermarked, uh, but you can see all the features that it has. So first of all, I want to show you green screen, and I have a few examples here. I have some chickens, and I have this llama, and I'm going to put them on this beach right here. So these are all videos. I'm going to put in my background first, which is the beach, and that goes on layer number one in this example. So I'm just going to select that layer, hit the plus, and add it. I know this is a little short, this video, for what I need, and so what I'm going to do is just control C and add a few more copies of it to make it a little bit longer. It will just repeat. Now I'm going to take the chickens here and I'm just going to drag it down. Uh, you can add the, the, to the tracks in different ways. I'm just going to drag it here. So now I have the chickens on top of the beach. So what I want to do is make the green disappear and it can be done very quickly with Filmora, Filmora 9. You just select the clip so that's this chicken clip I want and you go up to here. You can see this is green screen and then I go ahead and click on it. I got to move my playhead over so you can see what's in the background and you can see the beach in the background. Now you can make some more adjustments after that by uh, changing the tolerance here. You can see if I drag this, it's getting more clear in the background. Uh, you can also uh, play with the offset and adjust things kind of just exactly the way you want. I can go ahead and hit play and these chickens are now on the beach. You can still do more things to this. You might want to transform the chickens into a, maybe smaller or put them on a different location. So if I look up top, you have transform here. Uh, if it's not open, just click it and you can maybe you want to scale these chickens and make them smaller. So you can see I can actually change the location of these two with the X and Y. I can drag this. If I put my mouse in here, you can see how I get the arrows. I can drag drag it to a different place if I want want it down like so and I can put them on different places uh, on top of the background how I want them to so you can make all those adjustments plus you could rotate them if you want to or uh, do or flip them like so but you can reset them and put them back like this so maybe you want to add more than one thing to your background remember you can work with the different channels here so if I bring I'm just gonna hit OK and I have this llama here too so I'm just gonna drag this llama down on top again of this one and I'm gonna do the same the same thing so I click the llama I'm gonna to go to the green screen button click it and make those adjustments on it so if I go and change the tolerance so it's you can see and then I'm gonna actually a little bit on the offset too here and then I'm gonna go up and scale this llama and I'm just gonna move it into place uh, with the and I'll just move it down here to and get it lined up exactly where I want. And you can, so now you can see this llama has a little music with it. Now they're on the beach together. And you can change the layers. So right now I have the llama in front of the chickens. If I, I'll just make another track uh, real quickly here. I'll just click here, add video track. If I put the chickens on top of the llama, and then you can notice now the chickens are in front. So you can have a lot of fun with this, these effects and whether you have your green screen, you don't really have to use the green screen as long as it's that solid color that has that contrast uh, to it, but there's lots of free examples uh, from copyright places you can play with, download from the internet, but go ahead and check out the green screen feature uh, with Filmora 9. Masking is a fun effect to use in Filmora 9. So I'm just going to use the, some of the footage that I've already uploaded here. I'm going to take, uh, let's say, this scene right here and I'm going to drag it down into my layer one here into my channel one and now what I'm going to do is put this one just on top of it here so what masking allows me to do and what you need to do is go to effects and then go to your uh, you'll see utility here you have some image mask shape mask I'm just going to drag this image mask right on top of this one here and you can see how a mask is added to it very quickly quickly 
like this. So it gives that effect of it. If I double click on this one, I can make some quick adjustments to this. So just like before, uh, I've showed you with the green screen, I can uh, go through and scale this to uh, different uh, places or put it, uh, put it on the screen wherever I would like. But if I go down, you can see I can quickly change the, the shapes of this too. So if I go ahead, if I wanted the star, if I wanted the different shapes like this, I can make those adjustments. So if I was picking this shape, I can go through and make a few more adjustments. So maybe I wanted to feather the edges so they're not quite so sharp. I'll just drag this over. You can see how it starts to blur. Uh, you can see the adjustment of the mask where I want it to be. So you can kind of create that imagery that you want on it. When you get it uh, where you want, you can hit OK. And then you have this mask that's inside of this. And I'll just hit play. So I've used a mask with another one on top of the background. So go ahead and try that out and play with the different mask, how quickly you can adjust them uh, and try the different layers like I showed you with the green screen. So lastly, I want to show you split screen. Now in previous versions of Filmora, they had it just built in. You could select it, drag and drop. But so far in Filmora 9, it's not there yet. I think in a future uh, update it will be. But in the meantime, this is how you can create some split screen options. So I'm going to drag in a couple uh, footage, a bit of the footage again. I'm going to drag in the one I've been using with the surfer here and match the media. And let's say I'm going to drag this one in too, like this. So I need to go back to where I was showing you before in the effects where the mask was. So uh, just go ahead and click effects and you can see utility. I have already have this selected. Crop is what I want. So if I go ahead and cr uh, take this and I'm going to add this uh, to both of these. Now what I can do is when I go ahead and double click, so let's say I double click on this one and then uh, I'm under the crop here. If you don't see it, make sure you just kind of move around up and you can see whatever's selected. But maybe I want to crop from the bottom or sorry from, yeah, we'll go from the bottom and I'll bring it up like this. And you can see how I can change the lines on this one like so. So maybe on this one I can go uh, to the bottom and I so you got to make sure you have it selected. I'm going to go act to actually transform this one. I'm going to uh, move this around a bit here just to kind of and I'm going to add in. So I'm going to put it down here like so and I'm going to just hit OK and I'm going to go grab some more another media for this example here and I'm just going to bring in this uh, beach scene right here that I used from before and I'm going to go and to my effects and add the crop uh, to this one so I can make some adjustments to this uh, first of all so if I go ahead double click on it and then I'm going to go I'm going to scale this down a bit and I'm going to move it uh, maybe I'm going to just crop it over here on this one so from the right I'm going to move it over and you can see how I have to move uh, back and forth on this one so I can move this and put it back right there so now if you wanted it a little bit different you'd want this one on the top so I can make the clean lines on this one if I drag this over top now I have these three videos all playing at once where I've done split screen. Now you can make adjustments to, to it how you want. You can do more cropping. You can rotate and get different effects like this. I just want to show you the possibilities, how you can go start uh, getting your split screen here by making those adjustments. Thanks for watching this week. And if you want more tips on Filmora 9, please let me know down in the comments below. I'll see you next time on Teachers Tech.